the 104th General Assembly notes on Tuesday, July the 19th. Nashville presented the United Universal Ones. Sister Madison Lockhart gave a praise dance presentation while a summary of the material was shown in the background in the PowerPoint form. Afterwards, Sister Angela Lockhart posed questions for Madison to answer. The Chief Overseer was then given the floor and expressed his delight in the manner of the presentation. Chief Overseer. Okay, now, walking in the light. Now, I'm missing some people today. Again, they are in the church, but not in the church. As little Maddie said today, this church is about organizing and unity. Who are they following? They are going to follow you. You belong to the church, but you are not in the church. This is series two. We have covered the administrative aspect. Now we're going over the spiritual aspect. Chief Overseer Lecture Series, Slide 1, PowerPoint. This is based on the lessons taught by Jesus Christ. Understand clearly, lessons were taught appropriate to the circumstance or event. However, these lessons must transcend throughout generations. They have to be just as appropriate today as when he delivered them. You must understand this before you go into the mysteries level of understanding. In the Minister's Guide book, there are three levels. What are the three levels? One is good, two, very good, and three is best. The three levels of understanding the Word of God are the event level, the chronological level, and the mysteries level. The mysteries level takes divine guidance. I have a lot of axioms. One of them, if God only used perfect people to do His work, nothing would ever get done. That makes sense to me. God will use you if you avail yourself. There are three things returned not back, time lost, the arrow sped, and the spoken word. Chief Overseer's Lecture Series, Slideshow PowerPoint. The slide presentation included the constellation. Genesis 1 and 2 was right. Dr. Lewis, the earth was already out there in darkness somewhere. There was nothing to reflect in the vast expansiveness. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, moved upon it, and the God said, Let there be light. When he made this command, the sun had not yet been created. Genesis 1 and 3 was read. Verse 13 and 14 was read. Now, this is the second light. This is another creation of God was creating here. Now, we are talking about the sun, S-U-N. So, the initial, let there be light, was referring to his light, which came from him and illuminated the environment from the earth and resides within us. There is then a creation called the eye or the window. Boy, if it is ever closed, you will then be in darkness. You take a picture every time your eye moves. All of this information is stored in your brain. Sometimes things are being picked up in your brain in a disorderly fashion. Consequently, things will be regurgitated in nightmare or in a disorderly form. White light is all the other colors, but when it goes into a prism, it breaks up into beautiful colors. If God hadn't created it that way, you wouldn't be able to see all the colors. This is magnificent. The phrase by precept and example is often used to indicate, among other things, by word and deed. Jesus taught two ways, by his word and by his example. We want to follow Christ. If we are going to follow him, we are going to have to learn some things. John 13 and 15 and 16. We can see with our eyes and with our heart. God intended us to have clear vision so that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Walking in darkness is dangerous. It can even kill you. Jesus said we need this internal light. People who are doing bad things like to have the lights off. Young girls, if anyone says turn off the lights, you say, wait a minute, let the lights stay on. Precept, again, is by telling. Jesus told us some things in didactic teaching. The didactic teaching method, speeches, sermons, and lectures. Use of precepts, parables, and counsel. Lessons taught in concise narrative form, short stories. Use of examples, miracles. Example, the daughter of Jairus and the ruler of the synagogue raised to life. Matthew 9, 23, Mark 5, 22 through 24 is the spiritual reference. Another example, the widow's son raised to life at Nain. Spiritual reference, Luke 7, 11 through 17. Third example, Lazarus raised from the dead at Bethany. Scriptural reference, John 11, 38 through 44. Now, people, we want to know that just as you have the power to sing and do all those things, you have the power to live holy. Visual blindness, you can't see. Ultimate blindness, you are really in darkness. There are all events that show that one long thread that this is the Son of God. He said, if you see me do these things, you will be able to do greater things. Don't try to prove to someone how much power you have, but how much power God has. We want to follow someone who has the power from God. If Jesus could do these things, we want to follow him.